Hi everyone, Richard here with a Google Classroom tip. About a year and a half ago, I made a video tutorial on how to distribute writing prompts to an ongoing Google Classroom journal assignment. Now, I work with a teacher who is has been using this successfully this year, and as any good teacher would ask, well, is it possible to do this, or is it possible to do that? So, two questions she had was, is there any way I can distribute images and hyperlinks uh, in the journal? So I took that feedback, and uh, last night and this morning, I just uh, updated the code to allow for uh, the insertion of images and to hyperlink uh, any links that you may want to add to the writing prompt. So if you haven't seen uh, this video yet, um, go ahead and check out this Google Classroom distribute multiple writing prompts to same Google Doc. The same technique applies to what I'm about to show you. It's just the script is a little bit different. So going into the back end of our Google Classroom, remember every Google Classroom assignment has its own folder. So these are the student writing journals inside of that folder. And currently, if we scroll through them, they're all blank. So I've cleared everything that was in there um, to get ready for a new prompt. So here is the prompt generator. So you'll notice right next to the help menu item there is a custom menu called writing prompts. So behind that is the Google Apps script that is responsible for pushing out the writing prompts. So what you're going to see are three columns. One is the actual writing prompt. Column B are any hyperlinks to resources uh, you may like the, the student to consult or, or to consider when writing their journal entry. And then perhaps you just want to include an image, and maybe that's what you would like them to reflect upon. Um, every prompt must have something in column A because this is the column that is dictating which data is appended to all of the student journals. So um, I'm going to go ahead and run the this prompt generator. So this is about the Washington Monument. We're going to get a link to a Wikipedia page about the monument and then an image of the Washington Monument. So again, these three are blank. We're going to distribute the prompt. And our work is done. So now we see every student has some information and instructions, including a link um, to a Wikipedia page about the Washington Monument, so on and so forth. So I hope you find this uh, upgrade uh, useful. And I will repost a link to this video in the original video's comments um, so for people to pick up the, the update if interested. Thanks for watching. Bye.